welcome to beginner's grade in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to change the background color of a div using simple javascript i'm sure that you can see there is a div here but if i click somewhere in the div you find that there is a portion so what does that mean this is not a single div is a combination of multiple div so let us see how many divs are found in this big div so every time when i click you find that there is a portion uh, with changing background right so if you count there i'm sure that almost there are 16 divs it's the combination of 16 divs so each divs when i click on them the background color of that particular div is been changing so this is what we are going to be creating in this tutorial so without further ado let's get started so I'm going to my JavaScript file. I'm going to create this div in my JavaScript. To create these individual divs, we are going to make use of JavaScript DOM concepts. So let us create. As I say that there are about 16 divs here. So in order to create these 16 div, I'm just going to use the for loops. So let i is equals to 1. This is a first div. Then I need 16. So i less than or equals to 16. Then I want to increment the i. So this loop is going to loop through until we create 16 div. So in order to create the div, there is a let me create a variable. Let me call this one as new div. So here I'm going to use create element to create the div tag. So document dot create element method to create a div element. So here we are going to create div. So it's a div element. Now the next step is we need to append this div element to our body section for that document dot where do you want to append them i want to append them into the body section so this is a child so append child method so what are you going to append this particular variable right okay i hope now we have understood how we have managed to create 16 divs so what is next we need to create this random color so for that we are going to make use of the javascript random object so let me create the function for the random object so this random object is going to take uh, colors as a parameter because we need to change the colors so here I'm going to make use of the written function math.flow to round off the values so actually here what I'm going to do I'm just going to use the math.random function I'm going to multiply this random function with the parameter that I'm going to pass them here so in this case colors now I'm going to create a function for this background color because I have the random function as a parameter color so I have to pass the values for these colors right so uh, there are different colors here so what I'm going to do I'm going to use the combination of RGB color code so I'm going to create a function let me say background so within the function I need to pass the values for these parameters colors as I said I'm going to make use of the RGB color code so what I can do I'm just going to create a variable let me say const I want to create the random color random color is a variable so I'm going to, as I said I'm going to make use of the RGB color code to create the random color so here inside I'm going to make use of the random method with the color code then I need to I need to separate each color with comma I'm sure that you know again I'm just going to do the same again there is a comma in between because each color needs to be separated with comma so this random 255 is the value for RGB and then just we are going to return the variable here so in this case what is a variable orientl right now we have managed to create the background color for the entire div i mean entire div but this entire div has got the partitions like there are 16 divs inside right so when you use this background color it's going to apply the background color for the whole div now what we need to do we need to apply the background color for these individual divs so in order to do that we are going to make use of the javascript event object with the help of e.target so that we can target each individual elements in the div so for that i'm going to create a variable let me say let i can call them as there is a divs inside so there is a lot of divs inside so i'm going to create a variable as divs equals i'm going to target all the div that i have created with the help of this for loop so what i'm going to do document dot query select all so this query selector all i'm going to target all the divs that i have created right so where is the all the divs that you have created this div right so just copy and paste them here so this is the divs that i have created right so now what is next 
I just have to loop through each individual tubes to apply the different colors. For that, I'm going to use for loop. Here, I'm just going to say let. I just want to start from the first div going up to where the length of the total div. For example, if the length of the total div is 20, I have to calculate the total length, right? So for that, I'm going to use i less than div dot length method to calculate the total number of divs in the entire section. Then I'm just going to increment the i value. Here inside, what do you want to return? So all these divs, this is what you want to return, right? So what you can do, you can just say div square bracket i, you want to look through them. Here I'm going to apply the color for each individual divs when I click on that divs, right? When I click, I want to change the color. So here I'm going to use the event name called on click. This on click event is going to call the function. This function is going to have e as a parameter. This is an object, right? So this e object can have the parameter as e dot target, so that we can able to target each individual items in the div. So for that, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to say simply, I can just say e dot target method. So this target is going to target each individual elements in the div. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to apply the style. I just want to change the background color. This background color, how are you going to apply? From the help of this function that we have created, right? So let me just copy and paste them here. So this is why we are going to generate the random color for each individual divs. I'm sure that with the JavaScript we are done. Let me just check. Yeah, we are done with the JavaScript. All we need to do is we need to create this whole container into our HTML. So here I'm just going to create the style tag. So within the style tag, I'm just going to style the div. So that we can see the difference when you click so here i'm just going to set the height i can say 100 pixel and i can set the width 25 percent and then float left let me save and open it my browser then you will see so there is nothing at the moment mm, what we can do oh let us set some background color for the initial container so we can say like green whatever the color that you want just save and refresh here we go there is a container now every time when you click just because of this e dot target method is just going to target the each individual element when you click here so this particular div alone is going to be changing the background color so that's it we have managed to change the different color for each individual divs if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button please do subscribe beginners guide for more videos like this Thank you.